This week we're going to be looking at combining kitchen paper in the drum absorption with decoupling the drum using the washing machine anti-vibration pads. One of the things I think that's most surprising about this is what I kind of thought was happening with these treatments. What actually is happening? So for years what I thought was happening was I was getting more low end but actually what was happening was I'm getting a more defined first resonance and it's cleaning up that area between the fundamental and the first resonance. Our control floor tom is tuned with a fundamental at D sharp 2, 77 hertz. And these hacks so far are either getting more sustain at the first resonance or cleaning up the area around the fundamental. So what I'm perceiving as more low end is actually cleaner resonant frequencies that are in turn reinforcing the fundamental. It's cleaner low mid information. So a cleaner, more reinforced fundamental is giving me the perception that there's more low end. Last time we looked at putting absorption inside the drum and clean that area between the fundamental and the first resonance. So in terms of the absorption in the drum, because if we reference the equal loudness curve or the Fletcher Munson curve, we've got a sensitivity to higher frequencies. So attenuating that higher frequency allows the lower frequencies to become more noticeable and we perceive those as being louder. So again, that's given us an increased amount of low frequency, although it's kind of an illusion because we're just attenuating the high frequencies. I thought a worthy experiment would be to try and EQ match the triple flange control to the kitchen paper. Uh, if I do the close mic, I played around with some EQ. Um, I did try to match the initial drummer's world. It gets pretty close on the drummer's world floor tom, but on the Trixon where the resonance is more pronounced, it didn't really work at all. So I feel like the kind of gold standard of all this stuff is like increased sustain, enhanced fundamentals, so we're getting that perception of more low end and we're getting rid of that standing wave in the drum with the absorption. So I thought combining the washing machine anti-vibration pads, which got like four seconds of sustain and the absorption in the drum would be a great combination. Here's the Drummer's World 15 by 12, eight ply maple shell in the control. Here's it with the washing machine anti-vibration pads. The kitchen paper and now the washing machine anti-vibration pads and the kitchen paper. the Trixon. This is with nothing in it. One of the things that's been said about these experiments so far, or even these hacks so far, 
is that it's to do with the tuning of the drum, the construction of the drum, the bearing edges, so on and so forth. I wanted to use the tricks in here for a couple of reasons. One, it's a weird sized drum. It's a metric sized drum, so it's a little bit bigger than 16 inches and about 18 inches in depth. It also has the most problems with standing wave resonances inside of it. Bearing edges don't matter as much on drums with vellum heads. Since drums pre-1960 will often have quite imprecise edges. It's because it simply wasn't a requirement to have these razor sharp edges because the vellum will form to whatever. The tricks and construction, it's a beach shell, but inside the ply is arranged vertically. The inside of the drum is varnished so it's really reflective in that and you can hear in that first example the standing wave effect of the drum is overpowering the low end of the floor tom here it is with the washing machine anti-vibration pad so we're getting an increase of sustain so we're getting more low end but there's still this like ring and this is it with the anti-vibration pads and the kitchen paper So notice how that beach balliness is gone. With the absorption, it offers a more consistent and polished floor tom sound. Often those areas I'm reaching for with an EQ on a floor tom, cleaning low mids, enhancing the fundamental, it's achieved with some light absorption. If you find this video helpful, please consider liking and subscribing. Um, I've got loads more of this stuff coming.